good morning friends uh, today we will discuss about the parallel operation of transformers okay so <clears throat> sometimes we need to connect the two transformers in parallel okay instead of a large big transformer if we connect the two small transformers in parallel then there are some advantages <clears throat> okay the first one is so when there is a fault in one transformer okay so let us assume there is a power system like this okay then this is one transformer and some load is there here okay and there is another transformer here so if there is a fault in this then you can supply the power through this transformer okay so of course at a reduced level you can transfer but uh, there is a continuity of power flow okay this is the first advantage second advantage you can replace it okay you can replace it okay if there is any fault you can replace this okay so uh, the cost of the standby unit is also very less okay this is a small transformer okay instead of big transfer one big transformer okay so you are putting uh, two small transformers so the cost of the standby unit is also less okay so that is the second advantage okay and uh, uh, suppose if the load is less okay then you can operate only one transformer okay so this transformer can be shut down okay therefore the losses are very less okay therefore reliability is more okay efficiency is more okay so these are the three advantages of doing parallel operation of transformers okay so <clears throat> how do we do the parallel operation okay so let us consider these two transformers okay so their uh, primaries are connected in parallel and secondaries also connected in parallel okay so this is the primary of first transformer and the uh, voltage okay here voltage is given okay so ac supply is given okay the same ac supply is given to the second transformer also so the primaries are connected in parallel and similarly the secondary is also connected in parallel so here let us assume uh, the impedance okay the impedance uh, za and here let us assume it is zb okay so the transformer has a leakage impedance leak and resistance okay winding resistance and leakage impedance so totally combined as uh, uh, impedance okay so <coughs> so the two transformers are connected in parallel okay like this okay so this is the uh, parallel connection of two transformers okay so if you want to connect the two transformers in parallel okay there are some conditions which must be satisfied okay these are the conditions the first condition is the transformers must have same voltage ratios that means if you give a same input voltage then the output voltage of all the transformers should be same okay in the second condition the leakage impedances in ohms should be inversely proportional to the respective kva ratings okay uh, we will uh, we'll, uh, understand this point later okay and the third point expire ratio should be same for all transformers expire ratio means we have drawn uh, ZA and ZB okay so uh, in Z impedance there is a uh, resistance and reactance so uh, X is the reactance and R is the resistance okay so that means X by R ratio of the transformer A should be equal to X by R ratio of the transformer B okay and the last point the transformer must be connected properly as far as the polarities are concerned okay so in all these four points the fourth point must be satisfied this is a necessary condition the fourth point is the necessary condition and these three are the uh, only desirable conditions okay so fourth point must be satisfied okay so if you don't connect the polarities okay then large amount of circulating currents will flow okay so for that generally we have to connect one voltmeter here okay we have to connect one voltmeter here if the voltmeter reading is zero then uh, they are connected in proper connection okay they are connected properly therefore there are no circulating currents the voltmeter reading is equal to sum of the two voltages okay two secondary voltages then uh, there is a large amount of currents are flowing in that case we have to reverse the connections of one of the transformers okay so let us assume here uh, ea and here it is ev okay suppose um, <coughs> okay uh, 
so that is the fourth point that must be satisfied and the first point the transformer must have same voltage ratios okay it should also be satisfied 99 percent okay so 100 percent you cannot satisfy this point actually so if you consider any two transformers okay so the voltages of secondaries even if you give the same voltage in the primary the secondary voltages are uh, cannot be made equal exactly okay there is always a small difference okay so you should take care such that these two uh, voltages in the secondary should be nearly same understand so there is always a difference in the secondary voltages okay therefore uh, a small amount of circulating currents will flow okay so uh, there is always a difference between EA and VB okay so there is a small amount of circulating currents will flow that is IC is equal to okay let us assume EA is greater than EB then IC is equal to EA minus EB divided by ZA plus ZB okay so this amount of circulating current will flow okay but uh, it is okay the circulating current should be uh, less than 10 percent of the full load current okay then that is fine okay so the, the first point uh, is like that okay you should satisfy mostly but it, it never be exactly same the voltage ratios okay and the second and third points are there is a uh, greater flexibility in the second and third point okay we'll discuss those things later okay so now let us understand the operation okay uh, <clears throat> so first of all on no load condition okay on no load condition let us assume there is no load is connected here so <clears throat> polarities are connected properly okay uh, now there is a small amount of circulating current is flowing okay so this is the circulating current okay so the circulating current let us assume ea is greater than eb okay therefore uh, the current is flowing like this and coming like this and flowing like this okay so it is flowing like this and it is going like this understand okay so this is the path of the circulating currents okay now the voltage the open circuit voltage there is no load okay the open circuit voltage is v okay now if you write the equation okay so v is equal to ea minus ic let us assume the circulating current is ic and ic into uh, za right and now the same uh, if you apply for the second transformer v is equal to eb minus ic into zb okay so in this case on no load condition okay so the circulating current okay there is a circulating current that circulating current okay uh, will decrease the ea to make it equal to v because ea is greater okay we have assumed like that so the circulating current will decrease ea to make it v sorry here plus will come okay if you apply uh, kvl properly okay if you plus will come so the circulating current will increase eb to make it equal to v that is a uh, purpose of circulating current okay that is the effect of circulating current okay so <coughs> so this is a case in no, under no load condition on no on load condition okay so if you connect the load what will happen okay on load condition so let us assume there is a load is connected like this okay so the voltage across the load is v and the current i is flowing here okay so now we have to draw the equivalent circuit for this okay let us draw the equivalent circuit in the secondary side okay equivalent circuit in the secondary side this is a voltage ea okay this is a voltage ea and there is a uh, za for this there is za for this okay and similarly there is a eb okay okay eb is here and there is a zb here right so these two are connected like this this is the equivalent circuit okay and it is like this and there is a load understand okay there is a load so it is z the voltage is v okay so the current is i and the current flowing through the first transformer is i a and the current flowing through the second transformer is i b so it is e a and e b so on no load condition there are actually two cases okay so first one is equal voltage ratios equal voltage ratios and second one is unequal voltage ratios okay so we'll discuss here only equal voltage ratios we don't discuss this one okay this is not that much important as like some point of view okay so now let us consider equal voltage ratios so that means ea equal to eb understand ea equal to eb so, okay 
so now uh, <coughs> so if you consider e equal to eb then there is no circulating current is flowing here okay so we have to draw the uh, thevenin equivalent of this uh, uh, thevenin equivalent of this uh, network circuit okay thevenin equivalent okay so that means we have to remove this uh, load okay so this is the load okay when you remove this load as there is no current is flowing so the voltage drop across these two are zero so this is equal to this one therefore the uh, voltage across this open circuit terminals is also equal to ea or eb okay so let us draw only uh, one uh, source that is ea equal to eb and uh, the thevenin impedance so you have to short circuit these two then these two will be in parallel so therefore it will be like this understand so this is ZA and this is ZB so it will be like this this is the Thevenin equivalent and you have to connect the load so that is Z so this is IA and this is IB sorry this is I this is IA and this is IB okay now if you write uh, <coughs> if you write this uh, um, IA so by using current division rule so ia is equal to i into zb divided by za plus zb okay so all these are phasor quantities okay so because all these are phasor quantities okay similarly ib is equal to i into za by uh, <coughs> za plus zb okay so now let us multiply with voltage so this is also multiply with voltage here and here you multiply here and here okay voltage bar okay the load voltage okay so now this will become s a bar that is equal to s bar okay s bar into z b by z a plus z b understand so here in second equation s b bar is equal to s bar into so z a by z a plus z b understand so this is the kva rating so this is the total load kva okay so this is the total load kva then this is the how much load is shared by transformer a and this is the how much load is shared by transformer b understand so these are the two equations which are important okay now if you observe <coughs> okay let us continue in the next uh, video